Not a test. Oh, this is a rock and roll. Time to rock it from the Delta to the DMZ. Does that beer does that sound like an Elvis Presley movie? Viva Dunang. Oh, Viva Dunang me. Dunang me. Dunang me. Hey, it's a little too early for being that loud. Hey, too late. It's a 0600. What's the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. Speaking of early, how about that Cro Magnon Marty Drywitz? Thank you, Marty, for a silky smooth sound. Uh, oh, oh, we're we're getting a caller. Hello, uh, what's your name, man? My name is Roosevelt E. Roosevelt. Well, uh, Roosevelt, what's the weather out there? It's hot, damn hot, so hot, uh, I could do a little uh, crotch pot cooking. <laughs> well, uh, Roosevelt, uh, what does it really feel like? Full is hot, I told you again, were you born in the sun? It's hot, damn hot, so, so damn hot. Well, uh, tomorrow, what do you expect? It's gonna be hot and wet. That's nice if it were a lady, but it ain't no good if you're in the jungle. <laughs> okay, thank you, Roosevelt. Uh, here's a song coming your way right now, Nowhere to Run To by Martha and the Vandellas. Hello? You can either call me Mr. Williams, or if you're slightly more daring, oh, Captain Mike Captain. Why do I stand up? I stand upon my desk to remind myself that we must constantly look at things in a different way. The world looks very different from up here. With that said, why can't we look at death in a different light? What are we so mortally afraid of? Why can't we treat death with a certain amount of humanity and dignity and decency and, God forbid, <laughs> maybe even humor? Because laughter lives on. I will now read the traditional opening message by Dead Poet Society member Henry David Thoreau. I went to the woods because I wanted to live deliberately. I wanted to live deep and suck out all the marrow of life, to put to rout all that was not life and not, when I'd come to die, discover that I had not lived, that I had not lived. Did I live? Did I suck out all the marrow of life or choke on the bone? It's not your fault. It's, it's, it's not your fault. How about a phone call to an old friend, huh? Hello, Bill. It's Lord Sisley. I'm in Africa. Well, you would love it here. Dear God, man, you should be here. There's animals who would adore you. Sending my love. But not like that day in boys' school. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, something different. Something wonderful. A hug. <laughs> Call me if you wish bubbly. Uh, straight to voicemail, huh? <laughs> How about one more? Hello, Mr. Crystal. My name is Sam. I'm calling you behalf on the Sibling Society. Now, I, it's just a group of individuals who work with those who have, who work with those who have siblings. Now, I myself don't have siblings, but um, I represent people who do. Uh, much love, Sam. <laughs> One more. Hello, it's... It, it, it's Robin. Um, I'm trying to hold on. For you. I'm trying to hold on, but... I'm losing my grip. What am I saying? By the time you hear this, I'll be dead. I hope you can forgive me. Whatever swanning around you want to do, you have my love and my blessing. I'm sorry this only came clear to me now that I'm dying, but that's how life rolls out, huh? 
Only people who don't look back with regret are idiots and psychopaths. And oh, I got a lifetime of regrets, boy. Lord, why? What kind of God? What kind of world? The mission of a human being should not just be to prevent death, but to improve the quality of life. The human spirit is more powerful than any drug, and that is what needs to be nourished. Work, play, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter what anyone tells you, words and ideas can change the world. You're only given a little spark of madness. You mustn't lose it. Just one more movie, Robin, that's it. How about a Mrs. Doubtfire sequel, Robin, and that's it. <laughs> Three more wishes, Jeannie, and that's it. I can't do it anymore. I'm surrounded by you. The millions who love and adore me, yet you couldn't save me. I couldn't save me. I'm supposed to be your hero, your beacon of light and joy, but I can't do it anymore. I've stood on this desk for too long. Parkinson's and dementia each took their turn stripping my brilliance away from me. Do you know what it's like to watch that happen and be powerless to do anything about it? took my life with my own belt. I hope if heaven does exist, there's laughter. That would be a great thing. Just to hear God go, two Jews walk into a bar, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. The powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? It's not your fault, Robin. It's not your fault.